Well, we do seem to have a, a bit of a romance re, uh, re-emerging between Mr. De Maio and Mr. Mattarella in the sense that Luigi De Maio, the head of the Five Star Movement, is no longer calling for the president's impeachment. He rode back on those comments last night, essentially having realized that his erstwhile companion in the coalition agreement, uh, Matteo Salvini, was not in favor of this move, and therefore they wouldn't have the parliamentary majority needed to impeach an Italian president. He actually said that he's now countenancing cooperation with uh, Mr. Mattarella. Take a listen to what he said last night. We still want to go back to the polls as soon as possible, but we're willing to collaborate, including with the president. We want to be coherent but collaborative in order to resolve the current crisis. It's certainly not a crisis we caused. And I want to add this. If the markets are worried Italy could leave the euro, that's because someone has been saying this government wants out of the euro, despite that never having been our plan. Never having been their plan on paper, and this is the crux of this issue, of course, is that throughout the last few years, we've heard from Lega in particular, but also from uh, Five Star, talking about the opportunity that a Eurozone exit would present for Italy, the benefits of such an exit, and yet they then rode back from those comments in the final months before the election. They decided not to put it into their 58-page coalition agreement, and as a consequence, when they put forward Paolo Savona, Mr. Mattarella balked and said, well, hang on a sec, this guy's got very noted, publicly expressed Euro- Eurozone skepticism on the record. We're really concerned about this. I'm not happy with him as economics minister. And that's where we find ourselves here. In terms of uh, Mr. Salvini, he's been expressing his anchor to supporters, again, hitting this same uh, idea that the European powers outside of Italy are once again trying to interfere in Italian domestic politics. That was slightly given some support by uh, Gunter Ertinger's comments yesterday, he's the European Budget Commissioner, talking about the fact that Italians will lo- learn to vote not, for, not, not to vote for populist parties if they see the market reaction to what they do this time around. The investor reaction was terrible yesterday. I mean, I saw some headlines saying Rome is burning. And then you saw the, the comment that came out from the Bank of Italy governor saying uh, trust is essential here. You don't want to lose and trust. It's, it's a very, very thin line between losing it, exactly. I mean, yeah, Ignacio Visco talking yesterday uh, morning at the Bank of Italy, he talked about the fact the Italian uh, economy was actually doing relatively well and had become self-sustaining. And that all of this talk you hear from people like Matteo Salvini about, you know, European restrictions, those were just rules that needed to be followed. And uh, any of the restrictions on Italian spending was essentially a domestic problem based on the fact they have so much debt. So um, a, a lot to sort of chew over after last night. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.